All right, so we are given that r, a radius, is equal to 2 times 1 plus sine of theta. You're to assume that theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. Make a full rotation around. All right, so the formula for finding the area inside that curvature is 1 half times the integral from theta 1 to theta 2 of r squared d theta. All right, so let's set that up. So we have from 0 to 2 pi. And we have, pull out that 1 half of 2 times 1 plus sine theta squared d theta, which is equal to uh, 4, yeah, times 1 plus two sine theta plus sine squared theta d theta. I'm going to pull that four out, multiply that by one half, so we now just have two outside. Okay, so to be able to integrate sine squared theta, I'm going to say that sine squared theta equals one half minus one half cosine two theta. Okay, so let's plug that in there. We have one plus two sine theta plus one half minus one half cosine two theta. Okay, so d theta. Okay, so now I'm going to split this up into integrals, into separate integrals, so that way I can do some u substitution for cosine 2 theta. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to add 1 and 1 half. So, and don't forget the 2. So we have 2 times the integral of 2 pi of 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves plus 2 sine theta, okay, all that d theta, and then minus, now we have 2 times the 1 half, so we just have that integral from 0 to 2 pi of cosine 2 theta, d theta, okay, so now we're going to do some u substitution, let's say u equals 2 theta, so du equals 2 d theta, or 1 half du equals d theta, okay? So let's plug that in. So we have, actually while I do that, I'm going to multiply all of this by 2 because I don't like fractions. So 0 to 2 pi of 3 plus or sine theta, d theta, minus d minus one half, I'm gonna pull that on the outside, from zero to two pi, of cosine u du. Okay, so that's equal to the integral from, oh, just kidding, we're going to integrate, so I don't need that integral sign anymore. We have 3 theta plus, really this should be from u1 to u2, because technically they change. So I'm just going to do it like that for the moment. So 3 theta plus the integral of 4 sine theta is negative 4 cosine theta. Okay, so that's from 0 to 2 pi minus one-half sine theta, sine u from u1 to u2. Oh, I'm um, a little. Okay, come back down here. See, that's equal to three theta 
minus 4 cosine theta. Oh, minus 1 half sine of 2u. 2 theta. From 0 to 2 pi. All right, so now we're going to move over to this other board. I'm going to rewrite that here, just in case you forgot. 3 theta minus 4 minus 4 cosine theta. I apologize. Cosine theta minus 1 half sine theta. Okay. So then sine 2 theta. 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so then let's plug in some terms. That's equal to 3 times 2 pi minus 4 cosine 2 pi. Minus 1 half sine of 2 pi. Minus 3 times 0. Oh, that wasn't very clear. 3 times 0 minus 4 cosine 0 minus 1 half sine 0. Okay. So we now have 6 pi. Okay. Minus cosine of 2 pi is 1, so minus 4, and then sine of 2 pi is, well actually this isn't 2 pi here, this is 2 times 2 pi, and that's 4 pi, but sine of 4 pi is still 0, so minus 0, okay. Minus, and no, 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 I just do some stuff. So 3 times 0 is 0, so minus 0. And then we have, this becomes plus um, 4 cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is the same as cosine of 2 pi, which is still 1, so plus 4. And then plus 1 half sine of 0, which is actually be 2 times 0, just for technicality's sake, but 2 times 0 is still sine of 0, which is 0, so plus, you end up with 6 pi. Okay, so now we want to draw this picture. So let's do this like this, but up, but up, okay. So we're going to go back to our original equation and say r equals 2, times 1 plus sine theta, okay? So when theta equals 1, so r, I mean when theta equals 0, we have 2 times 1 plus sine of 0, which equals, this is 0, so 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, our radius is 2. And then when r is pi over 2, we have 2 times 1 plus sine of pi over 2. And sine of pi over 2 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, times 2 is 4. All right. So it starts off here. Say this is, oh, I should probably give you some sizes here. We're going to start here and go to here. So as this is happening, our radius is increasing in size. So it looks kind of like that. Okay. Now we want to know r of pi. It's 2 times 1 plus sine of pi. Sine of pi is still 0. So we have 2 
times 1 plus 0, so just 2 times 1 is 2. So here, our radius is getting smaller again. Now we're coming around to the other side. So it goes something like that. Um, sort of fix it in a second, but then we have r is 3 pi over 2. And that comes out to 2 times 1 plus sine of 3 pi over 2. And sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So you end up with 2 times 1 minus 1. So that's 2 times 0 is 0. So when we're here, our radius is going to get smaller and go to 0. And then it goes back up to finish it off to 2 pi. We can show that just in case. R of 2 pi. And that's 2 times 1 plus sine of 2 pi. And that's the same as sine of 2 pi is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1 times 2 is 2. So again, this gets bigger and goes back out to 2. So. So it should sort of look like this. And we start here, and our curve goes around this way. So.